Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Zuko. And I'm Katara. Ah, we got you, didn't we? <laughs> I'm sure you probably can't tell, but I'm actually Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back with the infamous Sozan's Comet. Big reaction today. So we have finally reached the point where we are watching Sozan's Comet, which we are super excited about. What everyone has been waiting for. Yeah, this is this is the payoff of payoffs. This is where it all comes to a big conclusion. But before we get into that, look at your face. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Give me props, Pudgy. Done a pretty good job. Your boy. Uh... I tried. I'm not that great, but. Yeah, you know, I may have lost Agni Kai the first time, but I am coming back today to restore my honor. <laughs> and I tried doing like a mix between Katara's Fire Nation and then like the Water Nation, you know, hairstyles. Yeah, we did our best, guys, for a last minute thought. <laughs> I'm sure there's better out there, but good enough. <laughs> so today's episode, we are going to watch it all in one sitting. We are aware that it's four parts. We are going to release it on the channel in two parts. So both parts are going to be two episodes each. We just felt this was a better way for us to be able to edit it all. And that's what we've decided would work for us. We're also going to do what we usually do where after the first episode, before we start the next, we're going to have a little midpoint discussion. They'll all be time coded as well. And then we'll get into the next episode. Okay. on to the important stuff. Yeah. We've got some big things to talk about today. Coming into this episode, I think the, the best way to kick off is where we ended last episode, which was a yeah. really... Oh, not last episode, sorry. Episode before. Where we ended off the episode that Zuko helped Katara, where he posed a really important question to Aang, where Aang was advocating for forgiveness and violence not being the an answer. And then Zuko said, I agree, but then what are you going to do about my father? And I think that's put Aang in a really interesting position because Aang, as we've seen throughout this whole show, it took me a while to adjust. He doesn't like violence as the go-to being an air nomad. He's often a pacifist and he wants to resolve things peacefully. But when you've got a guy like Philo Ozai and it's threatening the peace of the world, what do you do? Yeah. Now, I believe that that was some pretty heavy foreshadowing. I think that Aang is going to figure out a way to resolve this peacefully in the end. Yeah. I hope we still get to see some epic showdowns throughout. I think we will. I think we will. But the big question is, do you think his avatar state can be released yeah or... i think it has to i think it has to come today i'm i'm, I'm fully expecting ang to somehow release avatar state today they've really teased it in book three and mm. i i think it has to come out in this battle and do you think it will be letting katara go well that's the thing isn't it it's to do with love yeah. so he might have to because and we said in the last episode he was sort of really wrestling with that issue about you know katara why can't like do you love me you wanted you meant for the kiss and everything so i think that's sort of maybe foreshadowing this episode is gonna have to grow beyond all of that. Mm. Yeah, because last episode seemed quite lighthearted, but a lot of topics, a lot of themes that have been brought up before for major events were really brought up in that last episode. Yeah. So they did it in an interesting, lighthearted way, but really upon reflection, it's really important to the story. Yeah. Well, particularly loved, we usually don't watch the intros, the recaps to these episodes because they can be spoilery because they target specific events that are related to the episode. Obviously for this one, we'd have to worry about that anymore because it's the whole show. So going through memory lane with just a recap of the whole, just how far we've come with the crew and then where we're at now, this is it. This is this is the, the final hour. This it's is where it all day. happens, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this is the big finale and it's just like, wow, we've really been through a journey and now we all come together. We've got Zuko on team. I'm hoping that we see Boomy today. Do we have to see Boomy? I'm hoping we see Uncle Iroh finally. Oh, we have to. We have Imagine to. Imagine Boomy and Iroh working together. That'd be cool. That would be awesome. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm yeah, so I think pumped. I think we're going to see an Iroh today that we haven't seen because yeah. Iroh, we've never really seen him really let loose. The Dragon of the West, that's who we're going to see. Yep. I'm expecting to see Boomy. I'm expecting they're going to release a lot of the people in the prisons, which are yeah. going to come out, including May and Ty Lee, which I think are going to mm. help Zuko now because Azula True. broke those bonds. Oh, my God. We're, we're in for some really big shit right now. Yeah, it's going to be huge. Predictions for 
like one on ones. I'm thinking Zuko and Azula is just a given. Yeah, I think they have to. Zuko shouldn't really be with his father. We've kind of already dealt with that. And he already established that. It's not his job. I think Iroh needs to stand up to his brother. That's what yeah. I feel like needs to happen. I agree. I agree. I think he needs to be there sort of to help Aang in mm -hmm. that showdown or maybe be there before Aang. I don't know. Yeah, probably before Aang. And then Aang comes in for that final, you know. Yeah. And we know that obviously Aang is going to go with the Fire Lord. It's going to be, yeah, down. I'm really, I'm really looking forward. We've noticed recently Zuko's been holding his own against Azula way better than usual. Yeah. Like almost pretty much on equal footing. And we did talk about him having a team behind him and that confidence with having people that support you really showed through his attacks, you know. He could just trust that, you know, falling, he was saved and Azula just had to, you know, fend for herself again. Yep, yep. By the way, guys, a little interruption here, but I want to mention your boy's got his coffee today. I just wanted to make sure that I was G'd <laughs> up and paying attention. So if you haven't got yours yet, grab your coffee or whatever drink you want and buckle up. But yeah, back to your point. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Azula, a lot of y'all love her. I think she's a great villain, but yeah. I want her to lose. I want yeah. her to get destroyed. Okay. And I'm of not course. I've never hid that once. And I am really excited. I I'm, I'm I'm expecting Zuko to dominate her and I'm expecting him the foreshadowing between what he did with his father. Now that we've seen fire bending, they're pretty much equal. Yeah. Her one crutch move that Zuko doesn't have, from what I've seen, is to lightning bend. But he can deflect it, which is even better. Yes. So, and she, I don't think she knows that. And he learned the dance of the dragon. So I think that's going to really help him that as too. well. He knows a more primal firebending. She just, she might have been talented, but he's learned the source. Yeah. Combined with, I don't think that she will know that he can deflect lightning because the father would have too much pride to want to say that he lost to Zuko. He wouldn't mention that, I reckon. True, true. I'm really looking forward to seeing Zuko and team and how well they, you know, have gelled so far. I mean, we know that they haven't fully trusted Zuko, but not last episode, the episode before, Zuko did help Katara with her father. So that's big ticks in her book. Now we see they trust him. We saw towards the end, they all really trusted him. Yeah, but we haven't really seen that. It's just been a more casual social setting rather than in the arena fighting battle kind of thing. Well, I, I thought the purpose of everyone's one-on-one -on -one journeys when they were pinned against it. Aang's with the dragons and the and the sun people. Yeah. Sokka's in the prison. And then Katara with everything they That's went fun. through. Yeah. I thought the point of that was, okay, when our back was against the wall, you were there for us. Now we're good. No, 100%. That's what I'm saying. Now that they do trust him, it would be cool just to see their fighting styles all together. Like, yeah, yeah. we've seen Aang and crew, minus Zuko, how well they gelled and they all knew their place and what they had to get done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it would now, be Now fun. they've got a firebender that would sync up. Yeah. Especially when we see Aang and Zuko train together doing firebending, that looks awesome. It would be epic. Oh, dude. What I'd give to be a firebender. <laughs> we know. <laughs> All right, guys, so we promised a few episodes ago that we would update our Love Like Hate List one final time before the finale so that we had to do it without knowing the outcome of this epic show. So we're going to update that now. Reminder that we don't discuss this beforehand, so it's fresh for both of us. Okay, I'm going to start. Mine's quite boring. So if you remember the last time we updated our Love Like Hate List... Mine really hasn't changed much. I was going to say, guys, realistically, because this show focuses on a central cast and yeah. I didn't think too much changes. I didn't have too much changes either. Okay. So, love is Uncle Iroh, Katara, and Zuko. I mean, I did struggle between Katara and Sokka, like who should be up there, but I went with Katara. I am her after Me all. too, to be fair. Like, Katara, just everyone's got a more depth. So, I struggle with a lot of these two with the limits. But yeah. Zuko, Iroh, Sokka are my top three. Yeah. Like list. Sokka, Aang, Toph. Okay. I got Toph, Aang, and Katara. So we just, we just switch Swap. Sokka and Katara for our love like. Dislike, Fire Lord Ozai. And I put Azula in there as well. Okay. But you know who else I don't like? The Warden. The Warden from that prison. Yeah, so fair I'll enough. put him on as well. Okay. I've got Azula, Fire Lord Ozai. And I've kept Long Feng in there because he's mm -hmm. technically not dead. True. And I couldn't figure out a, a really credible third. And the Dialea is still working with Azula. He was sort of 
responsible for, for leading them. Yeah. So I've sort of pinned out all that blame on him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Guys, we want to say a huge thank you for all the support we've received on our Patreon throughout our Avatar journey. It, it's been incredible and we've loved having you guys there. We are going to continue on with Cora, and that will be starting probably by the time this is out on YouTube. We would have already been several episodes ahead. So if you do want to check that out on our Patreon for early access, all the uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description. As well as if you want part two to this reaction early, then that'll be live on there as well. If you're watching this over on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so you're up to date with not only the finale, but with Cora when we begin. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the whole series now. There's no spoilers. You can go full send, so you can give us all your thoughts <laughs> and we'll be reading them, see how they compare to ours. All right, let's get into it. Let's go. Wow. Aang training. Oh, that's awesome. Ugh, I'm trying. Now let me hear you roar like a tiger dillo. <laughs> tiger dillo. Oh, he breathes some fire too. I said roar. Oh, that's that is cool. awesome, dude. Wow. Hey, your lesson's not over yet. Get back here. Come on. Loving how Zuko's going hardcore. Oh my god, he ran out there real quick. Sitting around the house has made us pretty lazy. But I know just the thing to change that. Beach party! Damn. Oh my god. They're real chill. Everyone's quite chill considering where we're at, yeah. <laughs> I love this look of Katara's. Yeah, you did a pretty good job, man. Check out my office. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty good job. I've been working on my sand bending. You're gonna love this. Oh, it's mad. Cause sand's earth, she can bend it too. Wow. Look at the detail. Fast thing say. We made a little earth king in Bosco. <laughs> Try and top that, Sokka. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> What the monster? hell? No, it's Suki. Oh, <laughs> brother's gonna lose that girl real quick. Suki, we'll all understand if you break up with him over this. I think it's sweet. Aww. Fair enough. You gotta be ready. Yeah, Zuko taking his more serious than the rest of them. Well, he knows his father and sister. I, I reckon he's got the right attitude. What are you doing? You <laughs> can't just run away. Yeah. Man, Zuko's gone strong, dude. Zuko's gone crazy. I made a sand sculpture of Suki and he destroyed it. <laughs> oh, and he's attacking Aang. I love how that was the last thing he said. Oh, whoa. Yeah, Aang is way too... Defensive VR. Yeah, very passive. It's not going to work against the Fire Lord. Get a grip before he blasts you off this roof. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> <gasps> I love the foot bending too. That's sick. You can run, but you can't hide. I think this is Zuko's final lesson for him. Whoa. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh. That's pretty cool. He's really trapped him. Oh, shit. That's what we need, dude. That's what we need. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with all of you? How can you sit around having beach parties when Sozin's Comet is only three days away? Wow, three yeah, days. That's a good point. I was actually going to wait to fight the Fire Lord until after it came. After? I'm not ready. I need more time to master firebending. No way. What the hell? You all knew Aang was going to wait? Honestly, if Aang tries to fight the Fire Lord right now, he's gonna lose. Oh shit, what the hell's happening? Things can't get any worse. You're wrong. It's about to get worse than you can even imagine. Yeah, the shit. Day before the eclipse, my father asked me to attend an important war meeting. Oh, we get to find out now. Welcome, Prince Zuko. We waited for you. Ba Sing Se is still under our control. However, Earthbender rebellions have prevented us from achieving total victory in the Earth Kingdom. Okay, that's good for us. Prince Zuko, you've been among the Earth Kingdom commoners. Do you think that adding more troops will stop these rebellions? 
What's the people of the Earth Kingdom are proud and strong. They can endure anything as long as they have hope. Oh, oh. no. We need to destroy their hope. Well, that's not exactly what I... I think you should take their precious hope and the rest of their land and burn it all to the ground. Oh, Zula's definitely her father's daughter. Sozin's Comet is almost upon us, and on that day it will endow us with the strength and power of a hundred suns. Damn! So if they don't fight them now, they're going to destroy everything. When the comet last came, my grandfather, Fire Lord Sozin, used it to wipe out the air nomads. Now, I will use its power to end the Earth Kingdom. Oh, shit. He wants to take out all the Earthbenders. Oh, my God. He's next level. A world will be born. A world in which all the lands are Fire Nation. And I am the supreme ruler of everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Damn. you want a better world, huh? I think that's when Zuko realized it ain't it. My whole life I struggled to gain my father's love and acceptance. But once I had it, I realized I lost myself getting there. Yeah. It's a big realization. I always knew the Fire Lord was a bad guy, but his plan is just pure evil. Wow, yeah. I know you're scared. And I know you're not ready to save the world. But if you don't defeat the Fire Lord before the comet comes, there won't be a world to save anymore. Oh, oh my God. Shit, All right, stakes are high now. Stakes are huge. This is it. This is what I need. This is really, really bad. Aang, you don't have to do this alone. Yeah. If we all fight the Fire Lord together, we got a shot at taking him down. All right. Team Avatar is back. And one, yeah. Fire. <laughs> the hardest thing we've ever done together but i wouldn't want to do it any other way <laughs> oh man i'm so emotional where this is all coming around get over here zuko being part of the group also means being part of group hugs oh i love it <laughs> yes, i love that team too. avatar oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that was long. Long. you need to know before facing my father how to redirect lightning. I thought that was, that's mad. If you let the energy in your own body flow, the lightning will follow it. You turn your opponent's energy against them. That's like water bending. Exactly. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, Enviro said learning from every single time. Have redirected lightning before? Once. Against my father. What did it feel like? Oh, that's sick. <laughs> but terrifying. <laughs> That it was such a good moment, Ooh. dude. You feel so powerful holding that much energy in your body, but you know if you make the wrong move, it's over. No pressure. There's always Katara and a little spirit water action. Am I right? Actually, I <laughs> used it all up after Azula shot you. Yeah, damn. You'll have to take the Fire Lord's life before he takes yours. Damn, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm wondering. They've really upped the stakes in this. Like, and they've Aang's, taken everything away. That... Aang's not a short at all. Yeah. In order to take out the Fire Lord, or in this case, the Melon Lord, our timing has to be perfect. First, Suki and I will draw his fire. Then, Katara and Zuko charge in with some liquidy hot offense. And while the Melon Lord <laughs> is distracted, Aang swoops in and BAM! He delivers the final blow. If only it were that easy. <laughs> of course, she loves the role. She's full getting into it too. Isn't it funny that they felt way more prepared for the day of Black Sun than they I do know. for this? This is the, the finale. Watch it, Top! I am not Top! I am Melon Lord! <laughs> <laughs> She's loving it. Whenever I see Zuko, dude, I just get G'd up. Oh, yeah. Look at us go. Bad. Let's go. Spartan and Pudgy on the screen. He's going to shit himself. Yep. Damn, dude. Take him out. I can't. Far out. What's wrong with you? If this was the real deal, you'd be shot full of lightning right now. I'm sorry, but it just didn't feel right. I didn't feel like myself. 
Interesting. There, that's how it's done. Oh damn, Sokka's taking no shit. Yeah, interesting. It isn't Aang's way, but then yeah, better find another good way. I know, and real quick. I have a surprise for everyone. I knew it. You did have a secret thing with Haru. Oh my god. Oh my god. I found this. Look at baby Zuko. Isn't he cute? Oh, no Aww. way. That's not me. It's my father. Oh. Oh. Well, that sweet little kid grew up to be a monster. On our far out. I agree with you. Fire Lord Ozai is a horrible person, and the world would probably be better off without him. But there's got to be another way. Maybe we can make some big pots of glue, and then I can use glue bending to stick his arms and legs together so he can't <laughs> bend. Glue bending. Oh, oh my god. Show his baby pictures and all those happy memories will make him good again. <laughs> Do you really think that would work? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Aang, you tried, but it's not it. I can't just go around wiping out people I don't like. Sure you can. You're the yeah, avatar. It's tough being an nomad avatar. This isn't a joke, Sokka. None of you understands the position I'm in. Aang, we do understand. It's just... Just what, Katara? What? We're trying to help. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah, Don't walk away from this. Let him go. He needs time to sort it out by himself. Ah, uh, ivory line right there. Yeah, yeah, Zuko was needed then. Damn, that was a great scene. Oh, my God. Great intensity. That's what uh -oh. I want. Hey, Momo. I don't suppose you know what I should do. Maybe he does. So he wants to beat him, but not kill him. Is it the will, the work for a spirit world? I don't know. I guess if he can somehow take away his credibility and remove him from being Fire Lord. It's like blindly walking. I think it's time for a visit to the spirit world, which would be really cool. Okay, that's everything. No, it's not. Where's Aang? I know, one of the most important people. Aang! Come on, lazy bones, let's go! Yeah, it's a pretty essential missing piece. <laughs> oh, man. And he never leaves without that. Look! There's his footprints. The trail ends here. Maybe he was captured. I don't think so. There's no sign of a struggle. I bet he ran away again. Uh-uh. He left behind his glider and Appa. Then what do you think happened to him, oh sleuthy one? <laughs> <laughs> Aang mysteriously disappears before an important battle? He's definitely on a spirit world journey. Ah. Uh... Gotta be somewhere on Ember Island. Let's split up and look for him. I'm going with Zuko. <laughs> now she loves Zuko? Everyone else went on a life-changing field trip with Zuko. Now it's my turn. <laughs> And he's blushing as well. That's funny. Oh my god. I like how they make references to in-show stuff sometimes. Same. Avatar's dead. Okay. I was gonna say, what the hell? <laughs> Look at their faces. I ran away again. Uh-huh. I know I shouldn't complain. My parents gave me everything I ever had. She wants to get the whole treatment as well, and he's just like done with it. Look, I know you had a rough childhood. But we should really focus on finding Aang. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Top didn't get the Zuko treatment. Oh no, poor Top. Judging by the looks on your faces, I'm guessing you guys didn't find Aang either. It's like he just disappeared. Hey, wait a minute. Has anyone noticed that Momo's missing too? Oh no. I knew it was only a matter of time. Appa ate Momo. Soccer. Oh. It's always so <laughs> way off. Appa didn't eat Momo. He's probably with Aang. That's just what Appa wants you to think. Oh my god. Well, now, now Appa ate soccer. Aang is nowhere to be found and the comet is only two days away. What should we do, Zuko? Oh. <laughs> Love it they're all looking to him as leadership. Well, you are kind of the expert on tracking Aang. Yeah. If anyone's got experience hunting the Aang, it's you. That's pretty funny. Isn't that ironic? I oh, know, far out. <laughs> I like that. Why are we heading towards the Earth Kingdom? There's no way Aang's there. Just trust me. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
What do you do? Swim there? Yeah, what the hell? Good point. Oh, brother. Can't wait to see that face smoked. Especially this one. Ugh. So, is everything ready for our departure? There has been a change of plans, Azuma. What? I've decided to lead the fleet of airships to Ba Sing Se alone. Oh. But I thought we were going to do this together. My decision is final. Oh, shit. You can't treat me like Zuko. Azula, silence yourself. But it was my idea to burn everything to the ground. I deserve to be by your side. Azula. Wow, her insecurity is really out of control. I need you here to watch over the homeland. It's a very important job that I can only entrust to you. He's so manipulative, isn't he? Wow, she's really vulnerable here. To declare you the new Fire Lord. Fire Lord Azula? It does seem appropriate. But what about you? Fire Lord Ozai is no more. Just as the world will be reborn in fire. I shall be reborn as the supreme ruler of the world. It's a pretty cool helmet. I know. I will be known as the Phoenix King. The Phoenix that seems, King. Seems a bit cheesy. Like, who's trying too hard here? He's trying to compensate. But yeah, seeing Azula so vulnerable like that was, wow. She really wants his approval desperately. Man, looking like a damn gladiator. I know, far out. Oh no, chaos begins, hey? The reason you've brought us to a seedy Earth Kingdom tavern is what now? June. Oh, that girl, the rat with the rat in the yeah. bottom. Yeah. Shoo shoo. <laughs> it's the only animal that can track any scent anywhere in the world. Oh my god, this is gonna be epic. We're already starting with the throwbacks. Yeah, okay, I'm liking that. Maybe we'll get more throwbacks. <laughs> What's he done? Probably needs to find himself a little bit. I just had the strangest dream. Not a dream. Wait. Oh, he didn't do it consciously. Yeah, I thought you knew. Like, he was almost like... Nah. Sleepwalking in a way. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know. Where is it? All right. Part okay. one is completo. Complete. Damn. Interesting. I like how he started with a little bit, a last minute effort and training and vibes of, you know, the crew being together. And then we turned real quick. Like, it actually reflected what we thought. We were yeah. like, why are they so relaxed? It makes sense. And then Zuko comes in and gives us some, spit some facts. And it's like, oh shit, okay. The stakes came in, you know? Isn't it interesting how Zuko, the new one, had to kind of get them on a level, whereas Sokka's usually that person? Yeah. Yeah, true. True. Zuko's even more intensely connected to the battle, the war front and the stakes yeah. than, than even soccer because he's been living it his whole life, you know? Yeah, I think that's a really important point. He has been living it. He has been on the inside. He's heard all the plans. He knows what's about to happen. And thank goodness, you know? Even though Aang's the Avatar, I think he really needs Zuko sometimes to give him that really, yeah. really sick approach from somebody who has lived in those flames and he knows what's coming. And this sort of... The reality of this is that there isn't the benefit of being a coward or saying, I'll come back tomorrow. It's like, this is do or die at this stage, you know? Literally do or die. I really liked how uh, you came up to me when I was running after Aang and put your shoulder on me. Uh, put your hand on my shoulder. That's what I do. And you were like, he needs to work it out himself. I love that. I, I love that. Even that character. Like, honestly, Zuko part of the crew is it just what was missing like yeah perfectly completes them it was nice that he actually said something that Aro had said to him and it just shows how much he loves his uncle respects his uncle and wants to live that world that his uncle was showing him so yep yeah well one of four episodes down we still have not seen Iroh yet i know far out so they're really they're really teasing us here all right what episode are we going to see Iroh in it's got to be in the next couple. It can't, no, obviously, can't be the last. but like which one? One, two, or three? Well, two, I'm hoping three or four. two. I'm hoping two or three so that I can really see. Him. Yeah, I think two or three as well. I think showing him in the very last episode is like way too late. We'll, we'll find out. All right, guys, let's get into part two. The old masters. 
remember her. She helped you attack us. Yep. <laughs> Back in the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I see you worked things out with your girlfriend. I'm not, not his my girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I need your help finding the avatar. <laughs> Doesn't sound too fun. Does the end of the world sound like more fun? Oh shit! I, like, I remember these two buddies. Oh, okay. They're friends. <laughs> Nyla. I like that name, but it doesn't suit. Whoa. Careful there. Okay. <laughs> so who's got something with the avatar? Oh, you remember the tongue? I have Ang staff. Wow. I had a feeling he was going to be scared. Can't pick up a scent. Oh, well, maybe because of the water He's it separates gone, it. Gone. He doesn't exist. He's not in this world. He's like in a spirit world on that island. I don't know. Oh, could it be? Because the colors are different as well. Okay, yeah, good point. You can see me. We could both mm. be in the spirit world. Nope. My bending works. Okay, so no spirit world. What do you mean Aang doesn't exist? Do you mean he's, you know, dead? Nope. We could find him if he were dead. Oh, it's a real head scratcher. See ya. Oh, that's it. I have another idea. There's only one other person in this world who can help us face the Fire Lord. I'll be right back with a smell sample. Oh, I'm gonna try to find his uncle. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. <laughs> I think it's kind of sweet. Let's do this. All right, let's find Big Bad Iro. Damn, Plan B. So that they had to move on without Aang. No way. And he's had experience with the spirit world, which he's not Might in help. it, but yeah. he'll have some idea. What if Iro's reassurance and counsel was what Aang needs? Oh, yeah. that'd be beautiful. Oh, he's gone to Basing Say. Maybe he's helping the resistance there. Your uncle's somewhere beyond the wall. Nyla's getting twitchy, so he can't be too far. Good luck. Okay, in and out. At least she helped. Can't wait to see their reunion. It doesn't seem like normal rock. It's not made of earth. This is so strange. Interesting. Okay. I wish I had Roku. I do have Roku. Always. Can he access him though? Oh, wow. wow. You're right, Aang. All the past avatars, all their experience and wisdom is available to you. Oh, that's sick. What is this place? I don't know, Aang. But I see that you are lost in more ways than one right now. I am. I need to figure out what to do once I face the Fire Lord. Yeah, damn. He's very lost. Huh? Who did that? One of the firebenders, I assume. Oh, they're water tribe. Yeah. Burry! Yes! They're going to recruit them. Yes. This is perfect. They're going to get a crew together. No one expects me to take the Fire Lord's life, but I just don't know if I can do that. In my life, I tried to be disciplined and show restraint, but it backfired when Fire Lord Sozin took advantage of my restraint mm. and mercy. If I had been more decisive and acted sooner, I could have stopped Sozin and stop the war before it started. It's a very good point. You must be decisive. Okay, it doesn't say us to kill him, but yeah. he must be decisive. What's going on? We're surrounded by old people. <laughs> Talk. Haku. It is respectful to bow to an old master, but how about a hug for your new grandfather? Uh... Oh. He's... Hooked up with Grand Grand. Yeah. I made her a new betrothal necklace and everything. 
I'm wearing it. The family, Gramp, Gramp. <laughs> Gramp, Gramp. How about Grandpaku? <laughs> yeah, nah. And this was Aang's first firebending teacher. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's mad. How do you all know each other? All old people know each other. Don't you know that? <laughs> it's the White Lotus. Are they all White Lotus, maybe? We're all part of the same ancient secret society, a group that transcends the divisions of the poor nation. Oh, my God. That's epic. Sick. The White Lotus has always been about philosophy and beauty and truth. Oh, that's so cool. Call went out that we were needed for something important. Cyrus with them. What an epic team. <laughs> Wait, someone's missing from your group. Yeah, Aang love. Where's Momo? Oh. <laughs> Oh well, so long as they have each other, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Let's go. <laughs> That's so cool to see them all together, man. What a team that is. Who knew the White Lotus would be so important? Oh, I love that. I need your wisdom. Oh, we're going to talk to the other avatar. Sweet. He's really connecting with them. I love it. In my day, Jin the Conqueror threatened to throw the world out of balance. I stopped him, and the world entered a great era of peace. But you didn't really kill Shin. Technically, he fell to his own doom because he was too stubborn to get out of the way. Personally, I don't really see the difference. But I assure you, I would have done whatever it took to stop Chin. Yeah, she's not going to help him because she's more aggressive. Only justice will bring peace. Okay, so decisiveness, justice. justice. There I was, back in Omashu, waiting for just the right moment. I didn't know what or when, but I knew I'd know it when I knew it. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. He was holding back this whole time. He's giving everyone a run for their money. <laughs> Good luck, brother. You've got no firepower, and it's Oh shit. Oh dude. <laughs> oh my god. Move an entire building. What a weapon, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Get rid of that shit statue. Oh. Bye. <laughs> It's a very tough thing to do as well. <laughs> Off oh. the cliff it goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you took back your whole city all by yourself. So what about you guys? How strong is he, man? I need to look <clears throat> deep inside myself. Who are we calling out next? Oh, we haven't seen this avatar. I'm avatar Kuro. When I was young, I was always a go with the flow kind of avatar. Looks a lot like a Kokoda. And there was peace and good times in the world. But then, I lost the woman I loved to Ko, the face stealer. Oh, oh. that's the one. Ang. You must actively shape your own destiny and mm. the destiny of the world. They're not really giving him direct answers, are they? So he needs to be active, justice, decisive. Mm. It's cool to meet a new avatar, though. I was hoping you would. Well, here we are. Welcome to old people camp. Old people camp. <laughs> I'm so excited for the reunion. Your uncle's in there, Prince Zuko. Let's go. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. And that beautiful soundtrack. I know, it's so good. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. My uncle hates me, I know it. No, he doesn't. He'd be so proud of you right now. You're He'd sorry be so happy. for what you did, right? More sorry than I've been about anything in my entire life. Then he'll forgive you. He will. Just like Katara did. Oh, this is the moment. 
uncle. <laughs> of course. <laughs> nah, he's awake. It's probably just nice to see him again, you know? Yeah. He's at peace. They keep telling me I'm gonna have to do it. They don't get it. You're right. Maybe an air nomad avatar will understand where I'm coming from. I was wondering if we'd get an air nomad I know avatar. you can't really talk. Pretending you can just helps me think. <laughs> okay. This will be really interesting. Yeah, I want I want to hear what they have to say. I am Avatar Yang Chen, young airbender. Avatar Yang Chen. The monks always taught me that all life is sacred, even the life of the tiniest spider fly caught in its own web. Yes, all life is sacred. I know, I'm even a vegetarian. I've oh. always tried to solve my problems by being quick but. and clever. I feel There's like she's going to have to, yeah. Avatar Aang, I know that you are a gentle spirit, and the monks have taught you well, but this isn't about you. Oh, that's a good point. Many great and wise air nomads have detached themselves and achieved spiritual enlightenment. But the Avatar can never do it. Because yeah, your sole duty damn. is to the world. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs and do whatever it takes to protect the world. Oh that my god. That is perfect, man. Oh, I don't know why that made me emotional. That's powerful. Wow. Hit. That was powerful. That was really well done. I know. Far out. I still don't think he'll kill the Fire Lord, though, but... Uncle, I know you must have mixed feelings about seeing me. But I want you to know, I am so, so sorry, oh. Uncle. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I... I knew it. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me tear up, too. I thought you would be furious with me. I was never angry with you. Oh. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. Oh, he didn't. <clears throat> man, that's emotional. You did it by yourself. Oh. I'm so happy you found your way here. Damn. that They perfected the scene. You have a pretty strong scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude they perfected that one i know oh my god that hit me in the feels i can't remember my left eye tears because i got the bloody <laughs> makeup on they're not getting larger they're getting closer oh the island's moving toward where though wonder what island it is Oh, oh shit. Is that Bear Island? We'd heard of? Cause like it looks like a bear paw. I mean Bear Island's in um Game of Thrones. The biggest animal in the world. I've gotta swim around and find its face. There must be a reason why Momo's with him. Uncle, you're the only person other than the Avatar who can possibly defeat the Father Lord. You mean the Fire Lord? That's what I just said. The Father Lord. Interesting. We need you to come with us. No, Zuko, it won't turn out well. You can beat him, and we'll be there to help. Even if I did defeat Ozai, and I don't know that I could, it would be the wrong way to end the war. Oh, okay. It is just more senseless violence. A brother killing a brother to grab power. Yeah, the true. Only way for this war to end peacefully is for the Avatar to defeat the Fire Lord. Okay, wow, I like that. Someone new must take the throne. An idealist with a pure heart and unquestionable honor. Oh Yum my god! It to be you and Zuko. Unquestionable <laughs> honor? But I've made so many mistakes. I'm just gonna cry all episode, aren't I? But you have always followed your own path. You restored your own honor. And you fulfilled it without realizing it. The honor of the Fire Nation. Oh, that's beautiful. That is so nice. So Zen's comet is arriving, and our destinies are upon us. Aang will face the Fire Lord. When I was a boy, I had a vision that I would one day take Ba Sing Se. 
Only now do I see that my destiny is to take oh. it back from the Fire Nation. Wow. wow. Oh, so he was just misguided. Luko, you must return to the Fire Nation so that when the Fire Lord falls, you can assume the throne and restore peace and order. Oh, Fire Lord Luko. I can handle Azula. Not <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. You'll need help. You're right. Katara. How would you like to help me put Azula in her place? It would be my place. Oh, dude, this is perfection. Even though we don't know where Aang is, we need to do everything we can to stop the airship fleet. And that means when Aang does face the Fire Lord, we'll be right there if he needs us. Oh, man, this is just perfection. I know. Nothing runs faster over land or swims quicker than a giant eel hound. Eel hound. You should be able to intercept the fleet within a day's journey. Thank you, Master. Oh, I love that. What are you going to do? After I reconquer Ba Sing Se, I'm going to reconquer my tea shop. <laughs> I love it. That's fitting. That's nice. That peaceful life he's always wanted. Bye, everyone. Today, destiny is our friend. I know it. Oh, man. <laughs> Best reunion ever, dude. I love that. Destiny is our friend. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so good. Better than we were hoping. Oh. That's a little freaky. Yeah, what is it? Looks like a gorilla. A bear lion. A lion turtle. A lion turtle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone, even my own past lives, are expecting me to end someone's life. But I don't know if I can do it. The true mind can weather all the lies and illusions without being lost. The true heart can tough the poison of hatred without being harmed. Wow. Since the beginningless time, Darkness thrives in the void, but always yields to purify light. Oh shit! Is he restoring his avatar state? Wait for him. He will come. Him? Who's him? The Fire Lord. Is Fire Lord gonna meet him here? Are you sure that's what he meant? I think so. It's time for this world to end in fire. And for a new world to be born from the ashes. Oh, don't oh, worry. It will shit. be reborn, just not the way you want. And the comet begins, man. Holy shit. Buckle up. Oh, dude. Ridiculous. Holy shit. Wow, that episode just got even better than the first. Like that was a masterpiece. How I do have we no get better from here? Oh man, when Avatar wants to turn it up, they turn it up. Yeah, wow. I wasn't really expecting that to be a lion turtle. To be fair. <laughs> no, no. But there's wisdom from him. I, I need to analyze those words a little bit more. It sort of just came at us. But yeah, I don't actually know how to interpret that. If I'm being honest, I understood it, but. I need to hear it a few times to interpret it. Yeah, I think so. And the way his voice was, epic voice. I loved it. But it was it was a little bit hard to understand. Yeah, very rustly. Um, but he did some sort of purification to Aang. Yeah. And I'm thinking that might have helped him unlock the Avatar state again or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you think so? Because it was green. Like, I don't think we've really ever seen that before. It's been interesting too because we've been guided towards a lot of possible outcomes from Aang, but not yet given the decision. Yes. So we don't know what he's going to do. But the predicament is, I believe he's not going to kill the Fire Lord. But yeah. he has to find a way to defeat him without killing him. Because essentially the Lion Turtle was saying, you know, a pure heart, pure mind will know the answer. Like, yes, taking everything that you've learned, that's fine. But deep down within you, you will know what you have to do. Yeah. Well, so they follow... The Fire Lord's there based on his power as well, right? 
So if he can somehow strip his power and whether that's his status, his credibility, I, I don't even know, think, I don't know if you can take away someone's bending. I don't think that's a thing. But well, if they can somehow take away what his status that everyone respects, take his power away, then Zuko makes sense. And if Zuko can defeat Azula, then he will be looked at as the most respect. Because yeah. as long as the fire law changes, they can lead the fire nation in a different direction. Yeah. Everyone kind of, I, I mean, there's so much propaganda and things like that, especially with the fire nation, that we saw that in some of the episodes where, you know, we were just living day-to-day -day life in the fire nation with um, the Avatar crew. So they really buy in to whatever they're being sold, really. Yeah. You know, everyone else is bad. We're going to conquer this and we're going to have peace, blah, blah, blah. Like, little do they know they're creating this whole problem. It was so, sort of from Sozin downwards turned the Fire Nation real dark. Because, yeah. like Aang said 100 years ago, dancing and stuff was normal. They were a bit more, you know, they were prospering, but in the peaceful times. Yeah. So it will be interesting. I mean, perfect. We've got our setup. We've got Azula versus Zuko, which... Correct. And Katara. That's, that's, that's I awesome. love that. He's finally using help. Yeah. And but I really want him to defeat her on his own too. I want him to be the stronger one. So I've still got that little bit of bias there. But Yeah, but I do think that that theme of working together and teamwork. Yeah. And While she alienated everyone and that's her weakness. Yeah, because that was what they were originally doing. Who was it? Sozin and... Um, Roku. Roku. They were meant to be working together, but then they went off in their separate way and that's what caused all this chaos. So, yeah, I really do like those themes shining through and we're going to be working together. We're going to be to Zula together. So ready for Fire Lord Zuko. Like, that's sick. Yeah, it's going to be nice seeing how he rules in, like, a really peaceful way. You just know that it's going to be. He's already found himself. I wonder if we'll see him... If he does become Fire Lord, I wonder if he'll be in Korra, depending on how far in the future it's set. Ooh, true. That'd be really cool. And he's like playing that Iroh role. That'd be cool. Yeah. How cool was this thing, Iroh? The, it was a masterpiece, guys. Like you guys know, I feel all the emotion in the shows, but it's hard for me to really just to come out. Usually I feel it inside, but the eyes were really teared up and that was a really powerful scene. And I love yeah. how my complaint of this show is that they often, it's emotional really quick and it's over. And when Zuka started crying, I was like, oh, it's going to be really quick. I was, I was like, don't do it. But they kept it going. They yeah. drawed it out. Even when Ira hugged him, Ira was crying. And I was like, damn. I just I just knew that Ira would embrace him and give him a big hug. But it was more than I expected. Like, just really telling him how proud he is of him. and The words of wisdom uh, and almost a journey into Ira. Ira didn't know it all. He did the best he could. And he just hoped that there was enough in his nephew yeah. to see him through. But he said, oh, I was afraid that you had lost yourself. So that's when he wasn't talking. I'm sure Ira was just hurting in himself. He wasn't hating yeah. Zuko. He just really wanted to try and save his one nephew. Yeah, imagine that feeling. And then- It's a beautiful, I, I want an Iro, man. I want an Iro in my I life. I know. But then you don't know as Iro, like he's just broken out of the Fire Nation prison and he's still thinking that Zuko's, you know, just lost yeah. his way. Wasn't sure, yeah. I, I love it too how the White Lotus was something teased yeah. along the way and ended up being something so big. I Not know. just big, but united all the sort of Grandmaster kind of characters that we've seen throughout the show, even the Swordmaster, yeah. you know? That was awesome to see them all work together. Boomy doesn't surprise me. He's part of the White Lotus. I think the first time we saw it when... Ira was playing that game. I can't remember what it's called. And then he was explaining to Zuko about the White Lotus, that one piece. And yeah. that's when I, I mean, I loved Ira from the start, but that was when I really saw the depth in Ira where he was just explaining, you know, we come together from like lots of different perspectives and different ways of doing things. And we bring that into one and that's how we're going to have peace. Yep. So yeah, I really like that. And it never made sense to me given how, just loving, peaceful, and, and harmonious Iroh is as a character. Yeah. I was always like, well, why was he trying to capture Basing Say? Like, could he have changed that much? It didn't seem consistent with the character. Yeah. And this makes so much more sense that he had a dream and he just misrepresented that dream. Yeah. So he wasn't coming at Basing Say from malicious intent. He thought it was that's how he was going to unite Basing Say with the world, then realized that wasn't 
the, the way, way. And now he's re reclaiming like, even something so small I know. to be captured so late, combined with the dragon that we got a few episodes ago. Like, I love how they really savored these finer details. And if you're paying attention, you really realize that the payoffs and the conclusions oh, are there. It's so very good. complete. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's something we like. We, we sometimes get irritated when things are not really answered or left complete because we really like to remember a lot of the little details. And yeah. Avatar so far is wrapping up everything. I know. They've done such a great job. And I love that we saw Iroh, but I can't wait to see him. Like, he did all that training. Yeah, we got right. some action from the man. He did all that training. We don't want to see it go twice. But it looks like we're not going to see him fight his brother at all. Yeah. Which is interesting. Which interesting. Yeah, I thought that all those White Lotus members were going to be on the front lines with them, whereas they're going to have their battle in Barsi Say, which is actually where Ozai's heading. Yeah. Oh, true. So actually, no, they might actually mm. run into him. Yeah. Oh, damn. Let's go. I oh, know. I can't wait. You oh. saw, we saw Boomy as well. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, they really saved him. I, I like how they did that. Yeah, and it was nice that they kind of let us know how he dealt with, you know, being captured and how he got out of that. That was really nice. Yeah, so we're going to have two main battles happening now, which is one in the Fire Nation and one yeah. in Bussing Say. And this is the battles to reclaim oh, peace in the world. Big scenes about to happen. Holy shit. It was really nice seeing and connects with all the different avatars. That was actually that. really cool. And it was, I found it cool, the representation of it as well. He was like, I've got to look deep within myself. And then, you know, an avatar would appear in front of him. And, and that the was, deeper he went, the further back the avatar was. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I, was, think, I was wondering whether they would, back to our point about really completing it, touch on avatars of all the yeah. bending. So I love how they really brought out even the water and air past avatar. Yeah. And it's really cool just to see like all the different perspectives and wisdom that they all have. I mean, obviously from their own experiences, but I think Iroh's philosophy is going to come into play and that lion turtle kind of ignited that within him. You know, you've got to take all the good bits of each place, each philosophy and bring that together to bring peace so that everyone is happy and peaceful. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing where the next two parts go. Well, guys, that is officially the end of part one. I'm sure you guys are pretty hyped as we are for the next part. So show some love to the video, guys. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already so you know as soon as the next part is out or join our Patreon if you want it early. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below because we're going to be reading them all, especially since we're going to finish watching today. We can really just go free and we're really excited to see what you all think. Take care of yourselves and stay tuned because we're not yet done for this epic adventure. We'll see you guys back for the finale of the finale <laughs> real soon. See you guys.